Good morning, boys and girls. Welcome to Shine Plays. Welcome back to the Golden Horde achievement run. Doing the Great Khan achievement today, but well, we're working on it. Uh, last episode, we started a war with Korea, and we're going to go finish that up this episode. And as soon as that's done, we're going to declare on Ming, who, of course, has no allies. We have lots of claims on him. We're going to try to isolate him by taking his coastline. And uh, I don't know, maybe we'll, maybe we'll try to divide him up into little segments or whatever. The thing is, dividing him up into segments does nothing if he keeps the Mandate of Heaven. And we can see he still has the Mandate of Heaven right now, which means he has no revolt risk in any of his provinces. So, like, people are suggesting to do similar things like we did here, just cut him in half and just hope for rebels. But the thing is, he won't get rebels, not with the Mandate of Heaven. So I'm not going to bother cutting him in half until uh, we're, we've seen him lose the Mandate of Heaven. So for now, welcome back. Oh, and we did find out where our money went. Because we were making 140 ducats here before. We lost almost 60 ducats of income. And the reason is because we're no longer ahead of Diplotech. And yes, if you mouse over the little clock here, it says being ahead of time in this technology gives you the following bonus. Plus 20% trade efficiency. That is huge. That is massive. So there's where our you know 60 ducats a month went. And yeah, too much... Too much culture conversions. <laughs> Spending all of our monarch points on that. That's what caused it. All right, let's keep sieging up Korea down here. We are going to piece out Korea for probably most of his Japanese lands. I don't know. How much does total cost? Like 200? 277. So yeah, we'll take his Japanese lands. Not going to bother with um, any of his stuff here in mainland Asia. It's just a waste. Keep sieging up these forts. And we crushed his army in his capital. Beautiful. Siege him up, boys. Now that his main army is dead, he will be spamming troops anywhere he can. But we should have no trouble. Oh, we converted Mendesor. We're, we have no overextension, so I'm ready to peace out. It's just a matter of you know getting the provinces we want siege down. So that they're cheaper to take in the peace deal. Like, I do want Suo. So we're going to have to siege Suo, but we're already doing it, right? Should be fairly quick. And then just declare war on Ming, like, right away. Do we have any exhaustion? Eh, a little bit. It'll be fine. All right, if I get his capital will fall here, he'll just collapse. I wonder if I can take uh, Chikuzen, because I don't I don't have a claim on it. But it'd be nice, because it's Chinaware. There goes the capital. All right, we're at 91 war score. Let's see what we can get. Uh, the coast would be nice. Like that, 66 war score. All right. Can we take the rest of the coast up here? Can I take a province on this island? I can. Uh, let's see, that's 77 war score. Take the rest of the coast. 96. Is there anything that's cheap enough? Four war score? Come on. Hmm. What about Jeju? Kyongsong? Sango. So everything that's cheap. Yeah, the only cheap stuff is the stuff in Korea proper. I think what I would prefer is to take another Japanese province. Like Tosa would be nice. Take another Japanese province and then swap something out. Move this stuff around. Um, no, you know what? That's just too much effort. Well, no, it's not. It's not too much effort. You know what I should do? I should take this entire island. I shouldn't take this stuff. Because this stuff I can get whenever I want. So let's not take this stuff. I mean, I'll connect up my lands, but don't worry about this. 105, huh? 99. That'll do. All right, so we'll do that. That way we don't have to worry about walking to these islands, because this way we still don't have to build a navy, right? I think it's important to not build a navy. There you go. Thanks, Korea. Now, can we hold on to all this shit? Let's find out. First things first, destroy these forts. Even if we don't keep the land, we certainly don't want him to have these forts anymore. So that's the majority of his forts in Japan, gone. He only has one fort up here in Asia. I don't really worry about it. Just ignore him. Let's get on the Ming border.
Get up there, head this way, head there, okay. And these armies, we should be safe. We can just walk right through Ming's territories. Come on over. You guys, that's fine. And you, that's fine. All right, so let's see how much... Wait, why do I only have three missionaries? Did I lose Defender of the Faith? I did. Do I want Defender of the Faith for the extra missionary? Um... I kind of do want Defender of the Faith. But it does make tech more expensive. But the morale of armies is just so good. I'll think about it. Oh, one more fort. Get rid of that. All right, so that's all of his forts gone. Is that right? Uh, six of six forts. Wait, what? Where do I have? Where do I have five more forts? Excuse me. Oh, Africa. Fuck, I forgot to get rid of the forts in Africa, didn't I? No. All right, I'm confused. Where are these forts? Zoom out. Forts. In my lands. No, that's not my land. Six of six forts, you say? Why am I not seeing any? Huh? Is there like a list somewhere? Can I mouse over it? I can't mouse over it. Capital's only got one fort. Mouse over the fort's income tab? Ah, yes. Thank you. Oh, it's just my capital. Really? My capital counts as six out of six, apparently. Or maybe that'll change. Maybe it's because I'm paused. It's got probably because I'm paused. Anyway, back to business. Burn it all down. Burn it all down. All must burn. Good times, man. Do you guys like Monarch Points? I love Monarch Points. All right, that feels good. We just burned everything down. What's our OE? I don't know. This is, says 128. I don't believe it. Should be able to core all this stuff. Should be able to keep it all. Uh, we'll unpause and find out if that's true. Oh yeah, 87. We're good to go. All right, so the war with Ming. Let's not dawdle here. Uh, do I want... Oh, let's see if we can demand this from Majapahit real quick. I would like Damic. Oh no, not Fabricate. Breton War. There we go. Thank you. Burn it down. That puts us at uh, 98. Perfect. And let's get all the autonomy up here. You know what there should be? There should be some type of window that pops up during the peace deal, like right after the peace deal. That shows you all the land you just took. And it'll have all the interactions here. Like, would you like to increase autonomy on all these lands you just took? You just you know, increase autonomy all at once. That'd be amazing. Would you like to burn it all down? Burn it all down all at once. You know, just stuff like that would be so handy. All right, let's go ahead and take our quantity idea. Get that out of the way. Start plowing through this shit. And how goes our colonization? Are we almost done up here? Okay, we're almost done on that colony. This one's almost done. Are we almost done in uh, Taiwan? Yep. Yep. Okay, we're almost done with our... So we're going to be able to cancel the Exploration Idea Group. What do you guys think we should replace? What do you guys think we should replace the um, Exploration Idea Group with? Hmm. Because it's about time to replace it. It's just a matter of what we want to replace it with. I'm not sure. There's a lot of good options out there. Expansion would give us another merchant and global trade power. That's nice. I don't know. A lot of good options out there. Anyway, let's get to war with Ming before I forget. Before I forget how to war. And it's about time to go to war with Brunei as well. We might do the wars at the same time because the war with Ming is going to take some time, whereas the war with Brunei won't take that long, I don't think. It's tempting. 
We got our claim, right? Where's your high development stuff, Brunei? Um, this is nice. Fabricate that. It's kind of optimistic to assume I can just do both at the same time, but the Ming one is going to be a long, drawn-out process, whereas the Brunei War, I don't think it's going to take that long. So let's fabricate here on Cebu. And let's go to war with Ming. 11 days. I could start another claim. Let's be here in January. No. It's just, it's just going to take too long. We need these wars. We need these wars. And we're going to do imperialism so we can take 25% more land. All right. Group up. I'm terrified of that three-star general, so I'm going to put a general in this army over here. My good general. I'm going to put a CG general in this army here. You're going to go siege this fort. And you're going to siege that fort. And you're going to siege this fort. Just get a couple of forts started, because they're going to take some time. You can siege this fort. Uh, you can head there. You can head there. And let's see what this army does. Is this his only army? Wow, he doesn't have that many troops, does he? Uh, let's get this fort going. Yeah, he just doesn't have that many troops. Culture change is coming in. Very nice. Oh, was that... Was that uh, Mecca? Nope. Mecca is still culture converting. It's going to take some time. High development land takes longer to culture convert. God, that general... He's so good. He's going He's going south to Poyang. I think he's going to attack me here because I have no general. So what I'm going to do is take this guy. We're going to force march down there. Now for imperialism, we need to siege his capital down. So you are going to force march. Get there as fast as possible. For Imperialism, we need to see just capital down. I'll send an... Oh, shit. He got here quick. And I can't get out of here. Okay, that sucks. Look how fast he got there. He went from Anqing to Poyang to Jinan to here, and he's already there. Wow. That four maneuver is just so good. Oh, and now he's not going to attack us. Okay. Interesting. All right, we'll just group up over here. Yeah, he doesn't have that many troops. Like, this is it. He's got these 44,000. Yeah, that's all he has. All right, siege down, go to the fort. Now, again, ideally, we would fight in our territory in the flatlands somewhere where we get a bonus. That would be nice. But you can't always get the ideal situation, right? Wow, look at Air. He's doing so well over there. Well, I say that, but France has kicked his teeth in, so... Eh. Did I rival you, Poland? No. Who's my rivals? France, and I can't I can't check my other rivals. It'd be nice if you could check them during a war. Eh, whatever. France is my only rival. That's kind of sad. So he's just chilling here. I mean, we could fight him in the hills. I don't want to attack in the hills, but maybe we will. All right. Looks like he wants to come save his capital. Let's get up there. He was thinking about saving his capital. Let's see what he does. Oh, we got a fort down already. That was quick. Yeah, some of these forts are very small. That's why they're falling quickly. Forced march. Looks like we're getting attacked in Wenzo. Put the general in there. Oh, he changed his mind. He's not attacking. That's the second time he's done that now. Very weird. It's like he's going to attack, but then he doesn't. He's just chilling. He's just chilling. When can we tech up our Diplo? Very soon. Okay. 
All right, he's grouped up his 44k. So that's what he wanted to do. He wanted to group up his 44k. Hmm. Let's see what he does now. There goes the capital. So we have ticking war score now. I think he's going to be attacking here in Nanming. It's jungle, so we get a one a one defense for the terrain, but that's it. Probably going to retreat from that battle. But the walls busted and everything. Oh wow, we can't actually run away. That sucks. Can we force march and get away? Yeah, okay. Force march is going to save our ass here. Get out of there. Hey, colony done. Very nice. Core it. Comey's almost done as well. All of our colonies are almost done. Get rid of that stupid idea group. Alright, did you guys decide what idea group we should go for? Because I don't think we should keep on the colonization train. Seems a tad bit foolish. Another fort down. We are tearing through these forts. It looks like he's going to attack us here, which is good. Uh, should have no trouble in this battle, I think. Yeah, we should be fine. Might want to force march. No, I think we'll be okay. Oh, no, he's not attacking. What the fuck? He keeps like almost attacking and then he just doesn't do it. All right, go ahead and get the tech. Okay, now that we're ahead of time, we're getting our 20% trade efficiency again. That should mean we're getting more than 83 ducats a month. We'll find out. End of the month, let's see. Oh, religious conversion, very nice. Oh my god, another fort down. Wow, these are falling fast. 83, 94. We only got 11 more ducats from that trade efficiency. What in the world? Something really changed. I'm so confused, because it was 140 ducats. That is a big, big difference. Huh. Oh well. Oh, he's trying to get his capital back. I see. I see. No, you can't have your capital back. Sorry, not sorry. Oh, another fort down. Okay, diplomats are coming home. We should keep fabricating. Fabricating on what? I have a truce with you. I guess fabricate on Delhi, although this truce is for another eight years. Doesn't mean we can't fabricate, though. Where's your high development stuff? Here? There you go. All right, he might reinforce this. We'll see. I can also reinforce it. Yeah, he is reinforcing. All right. So get to GN. Then we can force march. Oh, we don't even need to. We're winning the battle without any help. Wow. It's so good. That general is so scary, though. We'll get the next fort. All right, cores are coming in. Yep. Slowly but surely. Oh, there's a straw poll? Go ahead and link me the straw poll, please. Independent tribes. Every province owned by the tribes will gain 40 autonomy, and they gain 10 influence. They cannot have more influence. Are you fucking kidding me? I cannot give you more influence. Oh, this is bad. All right. That's just, they just have too much influence and they're going to keep getting, they're going to keep having it for another 10 years. God, that's bad. So rip tribes loyalty. Holy shit. All right, let's go attack them here. Did we really fail a 77 over here? Yeah, we did. We've been failing this fort since the start of the war. 
God damn it. Alright, more claims, please. What else do you want to claim in Brunei? I can't get Kutai. Maybe Kuching? Yeah, Kuching. That'll do. I could do Barito and Banjar. Nah, Kuching's better. Oh, I already have a claim on Kuching. Okay, never mind. Um, I guess Barito? Yeah. Okay. We'll just take whatever we can in that war. Another fort down? Oh, man. Another fort down? Wow. Another fort. Oh, man. That's so good. It's just all these forts are falling. 51 war score, though. That's not the best war score. We got to get some more Tekken war score here. I mean, we already have Tekken war score here. Uh, I'll take the 3-2. Get into combat, please. Okay. I mean, he doesn't stand a fucking chance. You know, we're losing about the same troops he is, but he's just melting under the pressure. Bunch of culture conversions, very nice. Another idea. France has canceled his embargo of us. Really? Well, that's nice of you, France. Uh, where else are the forts? There's forts over here. Okay. Now we can't peace out for a little while because we're only at 58 war score. But all in all, I'd say we're doing just fine in this war. Cores are coming in, so we're almost ready to peace out. All we need to do is get a little more war score. But yeah, we're almost at zero overextension. This was a really quick war. Okay, Colony of Sockham is done. And Middag is almost done. Did you guys link the straw poll? No? Link the straw poll, please. So I can see what uh, idea group you guys want. All right, that's everything. We have zero overextension. Yeah, we're ready for peace. Just a matter of, can we get what we want? And I think the answer is not yet. Keep finishing up these sieges, please. He's trying to unseige a fort and he's actually being fairly successful. All right, that's all of Taiwan done, good. Fabricated claim on Shu Hing, okay. Oh, there we go. All of a sudden, we're making 150 ducats on trade again. Was it just overextension? I wonder if this is just overextension related. Hmm. Oh no. Oh no, a new Kagan. Not good. 
Four, two, one. That's pretty gross. Uh, all right. Another fort down. Another Ming army crushed. He's going to escape that, isn't he? All right. Oh, I got him there, though. All right, get in the battle. And this fort's down. Okay, so we're pretty much done with the war. Let's see if we can peace out with 85 war score. Let's see what we can get. I would like the coast, please. Okay, that's only 38 war score. Looking good. Let's try to cut him in half then. Can we get land up this way? 54 war score. That, I think, would cut him in half right there. So everything beyond this is just cake. Everything after this is just cake. So let's try to take some... Let's take stuff down here that we can just burn down. Stuff we don't plan on keeping. Just burn it all down. 92. Oh, he won't peace out for 92 war score? Oh, well then let's continue the war for a little bit. Well, no, if we're just burning it down. If we're just burning it down, we don't have to do that. Although, his capital has a lot of development. Holy shit. 103? What? Wow, that capital is worth a lot. It's got a ton of development in there. I'd love to burn it down, though. Ninety-one. Hundred and one. Ninety-eight. Ninety-seven. Ninety-one. Like this looks perfect over here. All this stuff in the in the east looks fine. But the stuff in the west. 91. You know what? This might be cheaper when the fort falls. That might be the ticket. There we go. 100. Okay, perfect. So we'll, we'll, we'll get that very soon here. We're at 92 war score. What was his reason for saying no? I don't know. He's just... He's almost ready to say yes. Just not quite. All right. I mean, it won't take long to get him to say yes. This battle should be enough to get him to say yes. So by all means... All right, now he'll say yes. Perfect. So we're going to keep everything that you see here, except his capital, I think, we'll give back. And these two we're going to give back. But I just want to burn them down, that's all. Beautiful. So there are now four Mings. Well, five if you... Okay, five Mings. There's the South Ming, the South East Ming, the North East Ming, the North East East Ming, and the North West Ming. Good time, man. Good time. All right, burn the old capital out. 37 development here in On King. 37 development. Excuse me. I would like my 300 monarch points, please. Ooh, well, that felt good. All right, burn it all down. Get rid of this fort. Do you guys like monarch points? I like monarch points. Bye bye, Fort. Oh, I can't burn Chongqing. Oh, because I recently burned it. Oh, that was a mistake. But I can burn it in two years. Now I'll just core it. It's fine. Burn these. All right, is that everything burned down? I think it might be. Oh, that felt good. Yeah, we're done on the colonies. So yes, we can get rid of the exploration idea group now. We're done. This is all done. Just waiting on uh, Komi to finish. We don't need a colonist there to finish it. 
So yeah, what idea group did you guys decide on? All right, now this is really exciting. We actually got enough Monarch points from burning all that shit down that we can take Tech 23, which means coring all that stuff is now 20% cheaper. That's a big deal. All right, let's start up here. I'm definitely gonna keep this. Anything I'm definitely gonna keep, I'm gonna just go ahead and core. How much does it cost? 32 points. That's pretty cheap. 13 points. That's cheap. All right, so that'll cut them up. Oh, I forgot to burn that one down. Well, it's burned now. So that cuts them up into some nice chunks. Can I keep everything? Yeah, I can actually keep all of this shit, including his old capital. Oh, wow, that's nice. That's amazing. I can keep all that. Wow. I didn't expect to be able to keep all that. But apparently we burned it down so much, we can keep everything. I can rival people now. Who do I want to rival? Poland. I can rival Brunei? Really? I can rival Brunei? Are you shitting me? Wow, okay. Um, okay, didn't expect that at all. You know what, though? That's going to have to do it for the episode today. Thank you guys for joining me. I have been Shen. You have been you. Come back next time for further ventures in the lands of the Golden Horde, where I'm still waiting for Ming to explode. I just don't think it's going to happen. I got this, this sinking feeling that that Ming is not going to explode. It's just a guess. I don't know if it's true. But, um, yeah, it's just not looking likely. Anyway, thanks for watching, guys. I've been Shen, you've been you. Come back next time for further adventures in the land of the Golden Horde. I'll see you then. Have a good day. Get rid of this fort. I guess if we're going to keep all that land, we should get the autonomy up. Man, that... Admin Tech 23 is just so good. Why is there 16 revolt risk here? Don't know. Oh, we're probably culture. We're probably really just converting it. That's fine. Bye bye.